<laughs> because you're mushrooms. <laughs> For the mushrooms to actually make any poisonous spores, they need to be hit but not destroyed. Lie still, you fuck. You're still very weak. Can you hear me? Do you, can you understand? Are you okay? Are, are you br damaged brain? <laughs> Don't try to speak. Your throat is very raw. The bleakness has hit you hard. I think he'll survive. Here's the thing though. The bleakness alone is an incredibly interesting idea because it implies that there is something on the left that kept them going or sustained them in some way. Whether something in the air or the water or the food that contains something that this planet is missing. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine if we went to another planet and every single piece of food on the entire planet was just missing an iron, for instance, which we require to carry oxygen around our bodies. We'd be fucked. Maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe there's something just fundamentally missing from this planet that was on Valette. Maybe something in the air or the water. I've been thinking, if I can ease the bleakness a bit, even temporarily, it might help me treat some of the underlying health issues that are making it so bad. He's not getting much better. In the case where we first came through the portal, I remember seeing some plasma crystals. I'm not sure how effective they'll be for medical purposes compared to real plasma, but it's worth a shot. And you want me to get one for you? If you would, it's too dangerous for me to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it, no problem. Anyway, I've done this a few times for you. Here, have a fucking crystal. Anyway, here you go, because uh, this thing comes kind of late in the game. While you were gone, I slept and dreamt. I was back in the let before this war. I saw the Emperor Vol Volterbilis. Volterbilis. That's an interesting name. Rise Although it power. does kind of scream bad guy, doesn't it? Yes. With the vol in front of it. He was rising to power with his powerful magics. I saw how they took anyone with magical gifts to raise in their cloistered castles, and how they treated those who had no magic like second class citizens. Oy so it's a majocracy. And, and then all the Viletian Emperor's enemies gathered up and forced through the portal to this world. And the war, and the things we done. And being here now, seeing what the bleakness can do. Oy vey. It was just a dream, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's basically just, and? <laughs> I don't know, I guess I can just understand why the Lakimi so angry. Willing to fight back. Their actions may be wrong, but I can't say the Let's have ever been any better. Maybe I'll talk to Haristel about it. I don't like this character at all. Yeah. The whole apology for war crimes bullshit. Yeah, he's a it pussy. reminds me of the people basically going, Oh, you know, the Soviets weren't so bad during the fucking Holodomor. Yeah. 30 million fucking people dying, and they're like, Well, it's not that bad, guys. At least they're not torturing them like the Nazis were, or something like that. Like, Fuck you for your apologetic bullshit. I'm sorry, have you been to the Gulag lately? <laughs> <laughs> fucking put you there? How about this, mate? How about you actually go fight the fucking Lechemians or whatever the hell they're called, and then you get to have a fucking opinion instead of sitting here on the back lines. Apologetic prick. So we're trying sorry. to shoot down Here's these like, bats. I hate characters like that, and I do apologize for going off, but I just fucking hate them. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Go away, stupid rat. It just get fucking zapped. This is reminding me of like late game East 1 where all you do is just ram into people and they die. <laughs> Best. It's just... Pew! <laughs> Goodbye. This weapon does have a bit of a shortcoming. If you're too close to enemies, it does not hit them. Well, who... Can you get too close to an enemy you can kill from 40 meters away? <laughs> Sometimes. Just keep spamming the button and you'll be fine! So we're supposed to be killing these orange bats. As you can see, it's not exactly difficult. <laughs> okay. Did that just come up completed Operation Orange? That was a side quest name. <laughs> As in... the oh. orange chemical that we dumped on Vietnam? Mm. Old would, reference. Either that or we were just trying to say, oh, the orange bats. Maybe. It's probably the Vietnam but, thing, though. 
Yeah, it's probably at least a reference, or at least a passing reference. Teleportation, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, I was about to say that! It's good to move up. <laughs> the woods are quiet. The plant bats have been called as requested. Thank you, you make a good genocide. Yeah, I need a safe place to sleep too. So you're from Villette? Yes, born and raised. This Villette is where I spent most of my days. I'm trying to be an officer as soon as my magical capabilities were discovered. Too bad I don't do What a were your damn magical thing. abilities? The ability to get really fucking buff? You have magic too? Of course, Villette is a meritocracy of the magical. A celebration of our abilities to help the world. Sucks to be a guy who doesn't have magic though. <laughs> and you're at war with Lakia. Yes, they are the outcasts and criminals of Villette. So we sent them to our own makeshift Australia. Seriously though, at this point execution might have been the better idea. Because they seem to just be causing a lot of fucking problems. Yeah, sending them here was a mistake. Left to form their own oh, no. society, they declared war against Villette. And they even got richer! <laughs> Who knew sending a bunch of violent criminals to <laughs> a foreign planet would go badly? Didn't you learn anything from Earth? <laughs> I thought we'd written this down for you, you fucks. And now we consort with demons to defeat us. And now they'll me to be cruel as well. It's fine here. Then you are welcome to stay. As long as you don't do anything stupid. Like killing us. Yeah, watch us do about nine things stupid. What do you need? Lakibi forces harry our troops here on the bleak world and the demons make them truly dangerous. I would mount an attack to strike back and strengthen our position. But we have no actual soldiers. I cannot make a so move I while this camp is still solo. Yep. In the caves be beneath the forest li live sirens because of course. Their presence in the area is new. They may be aligned with the demons. Please kill them for me. Sure. Sure, I know that I've literally just mentioned that we can't do this kind of stuff with like multiple people, so we're just gonna send you alone and deep into enemy territory because you seem to be somewhat capable. Lunes, <laughs> please collect 10 siren asses for me. <laughs> At least siren asses are more attractive than boar asses or bad asses or whatever the hell. To be honest, I think the inclusion of sirens was dumb. It, is, it does kind of seem a little bit out of nowhere, given sirens are so intrinsically tried to Greek mythology. They don't fit so, here! So you've got, and yeah, you've genuinely got to ask what the fuck are sirens doing on an alien planet? Maybe it's just... I was gonna say, maybe it's just something else that was labeled siren, but no, no. that is... It's literally a siren. Though there are two different genders of siren, interestingly enough. I never knew. I always thought of sirens more as mermaids or bird people. I never thought of them as octopi. Well, it is slightly different, of course, so that it wouldn't get copyrighted by ancient Greeks. <laughs> 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 fucking Socrates comes out going, "I fucking trademarked that two thousand years ago, you asshole." But yeah, they they really are out of place. <laughs> Does what? seem a little random. But like at the they, same they time, I can kind of suspend my... I, you know, I can kind of put my suspension of disbelief because we know sirens are mythical creatures. And yeah, so therefore, course. when we would find an actual creature who shares similarities with this mythical one, we'd certainly call it that. But at the same time, sirens are intrinsically tied to Greek mythology. So either they're saying that the Valets are somehow descended from Earth people and that's why they know about sirens and called them sirens, or they're saying they are directly descended from ancient Greece. I, Which... I feel that they just don't belong here because they have all of these unique creatures to fight against. Maybe with the exception of some, like flies. <laughs> and then you just have octopi ladies. Yeah, with big titties. <laughs> it's time to make a strike against the Lakimi. Even without support from Villette, we must keep fighting this war. And by we, I yes, mean we, you. Yes, we, these, these <laughs> we, these three people. And by we, I mean you. Romeda seems to think the Lakimi has some reason to want their freedom from Villette. I call bullshit on that. 
There are still soldiers under the influence of the demons. I will not give up this fight yet. Kill some soldiers for me, please. Okay. <laughs> That's literally it. You I just... like how she doesn't even question it. Who has like, time for don't that? get me wrong, Ramad is an idiot for going full-blown apologist, but at the same time, he's at least questioning what he's doing. Blinkens hit him hard, but he's not giving up. Sometimes I can't believe Villette would even send people here, knowing what the bleakness could do to them. No wonder that Lakimi rebelled, you know, besides being criminals. I don't blame them, look at this. I never wanted to fight in the war, it was just a job. It's a good thing Harry still is not around, she'd have my hide, treasonous talk like that. How about a subject change? We're running low on food again. I'm thinking we need something more substantial than bird legs. There were some Even I can probably eggs. eat five or six of them in a sitting, but personally, five bird legs did not seem enough. There were some wyverns in the caves, who don't actually look like wyverns, they looked like was hopping lizards that I ran past in the cave. They're okay. territorial beasts, but they've got some meat on them. Think you could take them? Yes. Bring me three of their tails, because they're chunky and meaty. And here Yum. you go. Boo! <laughs> Get some tail. <laughs> nice. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> Just thumbs up. Sure. I'm not giving you a controller, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like he's wiggling a flight stick. He's like, I want to play Elite Dangerous, motherfucker, I'm bored. Give me Atari. <laughs> 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 Something to write with. Yes. Oh shit, I skipped over his face. Here you go. So he kind of looks wow, bad. Wow, you look fucking dead. Hello, walking corpse. Man, Walking Dead Season 3 looks fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> They're up to like Season 9 now. They are. Oh, you mean the movies. Like the TV shit. Yeah. Whereas the game, I think it's only Season 2, is it? 4. 4? Oh, well, okay. I'm behind. Remember, times. they were make. <laughs> I I know because I. For those of you who wonder why I'm so quick to correct, I know because I've done all three of them and was planning to do four before the rest of them got cancelled and Telltale started going fucking bonkers. Damn. From what I heard, I they had some bad financial decisions that hurt them. Oh, fucking so many bad financial decisions. This, like, let's be honest. Anybody who's been in the know about Telltale for a while, which I don't count myself among them. But looking at this information, I can see why multiple people have been saying Telltale's going to fail soon. They just didn't have the... They spent too much on the creation of these and didn't get enough back. They were always going to fail. And it sucks. Here's ancient lore. Ancient, ancient lore. We have concluded... University of Plothar province. We have concluded our taumaturgical analysis of the portal and the world beyond. We have confirmed that it is Lachium, our sister world in the sky. Untouched by civilization, it abounds with life, at times to a dangerous degree. See Appendix B Megafauna. It is rich oh, lovely. with natural resources. Unfortunately, Lachium also completely lacks the presence of plasma in its atmosphere. As soon as our team moved beyond the portal, its effects were felt. The longer we stayed, the more pronounced the symptoms. We have called this I disease called it. the bleakness. I fucking called it. I knew there was something on their home world that was different than this. I knew there was something that was fundamentally lacking. It weakens our auras, creates fatigue and irritability, and it occasionally makes you poop really badly. Also includes pain and weakness. I fear that prolonged exposure could result in death for some constitutions. Therefore, despite the rich potential of the world, it is with regret that I must recommend for the safety of our people that the portal to Lachiam not be used. We will continue to study the ethereal flaw of the portal from the side. Wait, is it really? No. Watch out for the butterflies, they're assholes. <laughs> I don't know why, but they can poison you, or in some later variants, they can induce neurotoxicity. Which just fucks up your That's mana. That's fucking random! It just uh, kills your mana bar, basically. Oh, hello. 
You can pick this up if I'm you just I'm guessing you have dunk. to. Yeah, you have to land. Well, cannonball. Okay. What they normally want you to do is get the diving apparatus, which lets you well dive underwater, but you can just dunk into it. Here I thought the diving apparatus let us float. Powers of the aura are our birthright, the gift of the plasma. Those with magical ability are the natural apex of our race. We seek to improve ourselves and our auras through research, alchemy, exploration, and experimentation. If this sounds awfully familiar to you, don't worry, we will confirm your suspicion soon enough. Those with powerful auras are the natural leaders of the people. Those with powerful auras shall be raised by the magical elite as is the rightful place. Those with the white skin and blonde hair of the Aryan race. <laughs> Those That's who, basically what it sounds like to me! Those who defy this new order will be sentenced to New Australia to live out their lives deprived of the blessed plasma. Through magic our world is made whole. We are the people of all the land. One world with one purpose. Under one leader. Man, I, I could have sworn this Hitler. is... I thought this was Fine, the piece of lore this? that says we need to create a future for our children. Because I think they have that. <laughs> We need to secure a future for the magical race. Basically, Just, what the fuck is this? We're basically trying to paint this fall terrorist as a Hitler. Yeah. Like, that's fucking just blatant. So it's kind of one-sided, because we get almost nothing from his side. He, We just encounter him, he gets very... Very reasonably so upset that you invaded his private court and then you fight him. Nothing else comes off from his side. So you have no fucking idea if he was actually evil. You just have to take the word for it. Well, I'm, I'm more than down the. <laughs> Whoa. See you, bitch. That just. That was fucking brutal. Well, I'm more than willing to basically believe, yeah, he's done some fucked up shit. It's just. blatant. Well, they give you some reasons to, f to believe that he is evil, it's just, I wish they had even, a bit it didn't more. Even look like, it didn't even look like you killed him then, because I didn't see the animation. You got up, you looked at him, he, he got up and looked at you and then just disappeared in a flash of light. It looked like he just went, fuck, she found me, I'm out, bitch. Nope. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to kill these night dudes. That ought to do it. <laughs> That's great. This reminds me of Death's Gambit. The, the area where I get shot by a sniper, specifically. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes the archer. There goes the knight. I think he might have killed something else there, too. Oh, <laughs> what the? <laughs> Bye! Sorry. I was expecting him to put up... I was expecting him to put up a bit more of a fight. Sorry, are Bye. you a threat? <laughs> Yonk. <laughs> Level up. Remember, the orbs are still leveling up. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh, that damn. was hilarious! <laughs> Just the big guy's like, Yonk. As of this day, I, newly crowned Queen Philia of Lachium, declare our world an independent nation, no longer under the purview of Valetian control. You may have sent us here as prisoners, but Lachium is not your colony to control. Fuck you! Left ungoverned, <laughs> we have chosen to govern ourselves. We reject your fascist regime, see? I told you. We reject your aura-searching meritocracy. We reject your dominance, and we're gonna go consort with demons, because fuck it, why not? They're hotter than you. We believe all are equal. Except some are more equal than others. <laughs> Regardless of strength of aura, we believe all deserve life, despite the harshness of it, without plasma. Oh no. <laughs> Can we at least vaccinate people? <laughs> we will fight for our rights and our lives. We will thrive here. Lachim will be powerful. But we let always remember how they, their cruelty led to our ascendant. The queen gets You're killed afterwards. <laughs> You're not better, my dudes. You are just certainly not better than the... Uh... You know, after a while, I... that particular queen gets killed. Of course she does. By the Volterolis, specifically. <laughs> hey, get out the way. I don't want to use, like, the big boom Yo. attack to kill him, because it's 
This takes too long. I still love that the knights give you trouble, but you take this big fucker down in one hit. It's because the wooden shields are apparently strong enough to survive this. I, I mean, actually, now that I think about it, 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 wood is a good insulator against electricity. Good point. Yeah, it would make sense. <laughs> he just fucking zapped his head. That's never not gonna be funny to me. They're in love with you. What's the point? It's just a room. The point for room. that room. Maybe this. The point of that room is to get you more map completion percentage. Because there's an achievement for it. Of course. <laughs> That's literally it. Oi, I the came from here. What happened there? I shot him. Just one shot that guy. Yeah, well, that's gonna Down be pretty here, common right? here. Oh, fuck! <laughs> that guy almost got you! <laughs> almost doesn't count. Uh, we'll come back to this Castlevania level soon. <laughs> we gotta go turn in a quest. We doing side quests, boy. There you go, have a side quest. The ranks have been thinned. They'll think twice about attacking your camp. Considering they'll attack it any time, anyway. Which they won't. thought they are thinking twice. They thought, man, we really better attack that camp. Fuck it, we're gonna go attack that camp. <laughs> and there I, we go, they thought twice. I worry that we have not heard from the let in so long. Are they not making a strike against the portal? We need reinforcements. Maybe they're trying. Maybe they're not. Here's a question Do they know you're here? Probably not. And that'd be why. More things for me to kill. Meliste has been talking to me, trying to convince me that we shouldn't still be fighting this war. We have no support from the Empire. But... I, I don't wanna! <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I don't want! Just like you don't want to sign out of Steam when you start recording. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Was Villette much better? They banished the Lakimi here, knowing about the bleakness. And from what I've heard, society back home wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. You shush! You shut your mouth! It was good to me! And only me. Yeah, but to you, you're magical. What about the others? What about them? Uh, and I'm sure Lakim is good to its leaders and officers, but I've seen what empires do to those they see beneath them. Can you really say Valet has done no wrong? I don't want to talk about this. Oh, fuck you for that. You're just another zealot, just like the other guy. And then You're was just the zealots last of different kinds. Then was the last time you received orders? Shut up! We assault their greatest warriors then, weaken them, take out eight of their so-called royal guards in the castle. Well, we, well those we, are big guys. We, oh, they're, they're bigger guys, so they're, they're not quite the same ones we saw. Anyway, that person had a quest, by the way. Yeah, before we go back, we need to go to the library. Random. Naliste has a quest that basically is, can you find out what happens in the future to our world? <laughs> it gets fucked. We're just gonna fuck with timelines here, so it's okay. We're already fucking with them real hard, so it's fine. Uh, oh yeah, to learn about that particular piece of history, we need a special key. Now we can talk with the librarian. Welcome back, is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, how about your eyes? <laughs> can Do you have them? <laughs> what is this cat? I'm looking for information about Lakim's history. Oh, wonderful! I just love meeting other people who take an active interest in history. I'm not that kind of a nerd, though. No one seems to care I about. Am. <laughs> no one seems to care about our past anymore. It's so sad. Is there a time period you're most interested in? Actually, yes. I hear there was a great war a thousand years ago. Anything about that? Ah, the War of the Sisters. That's my favorite Wait era a too. second, that's a very specific name. It's a... Uh, it refers to the sister worlds, the Let and Lakim. Ah, I was thinking it refers to sisters in the, you know, fam familial sense of... I don't know, maybe Hestial or whatever her name is, has a sister on the other side, and that's why she's so fucking hating for this. 
Unfortunately, they had to lock down access to any information on this. A decree from the Emperor himself. Oh, no. oh. Well, I love history this much. Well, just between you and me, I think the lockdown is bullshit. So, I'm gonna risk my life to let you fuck everything up. Here you Literally, go. Literally, I'm going to risk my life. So you but can read here. some books. And here you go. Lockheed's bitter rival, by the Lex. Guess what? Oh. Sounds familiar. In 38 AE, after Lockheed rebelled against the Lex's oppression, they took control of the portal between worlds and built a device that would destroy it forever and destroy all, all of the Lex with it. This harrowing but necessary act by Queen Elana the Great, founder of the Lakemi Empire, ended the Let's Evil forever and won the War of the Sisters for Lakemi, beginning a new golden era. So the planet got blown the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well. <laughs> ah, more more map. Nice. Oh yay! A map of. Place. Another thing. Oh, this is uh, specifically about the planet. The Let was a, was a moon orbiting the gas giant planet of Corandor and was one of the two life-bearing planets in the solar system. The planet had a unique atmosphere called a plasmosphere, which was full of plasma, a unique type of radiation. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave it. In 38 AE, at the climax of the War of the Sisters, the planet was blown up. Today the remains of the planet can still be seen in Lachim Sky as magenta-colored rings surrounding Corander. So it became an asteroid belt. Yes, it got blown up so fucking hard <laughs> that it's not even a planet's debris anymore, it's just asteroids. Oh joy. Yeah, fuck them. Anyway, let's go back well. to the past.